Hello guys and welcome to another development update uh, from DevSat Studio. And in this update we are really excited to announce the release of the 1.0 version of CryEngine Community Edition. Uh, so in the end uh, we needed to release the code as sort of a patch and so basically you will need the source code from CryEngine 5.7 and then you will apply the, the code that we provide and build the engine yourself. Uh, we decided to wait a few days uh, in the case that we get any response from Crytek, but so far we got no response from Crytek. So we needed to distribute uh, the, the code and the engine itself so that we don't uh, break any license agreement, which we obviously don't want to. We always uh, honor any license agreement. So we decided to uh, release a C++ files uh, that you will then apply and um, and build the engine yourself. So this is one of the example of the new features uh, and this is the uh, full screen shader loading and this is the example file uh, for the comics, comics looks uh, inspired by the Walking Dead games. Uh, this shader file is included in the release so you can use it uh, yourself. So what are the new features in 1.0 release? So I already talked about the full screen shaders and it's loading. Uh, we also have the Camix example. Uh, you will be also able to uh, set up uh, the vibrance. Uh, and uh, another new feature is texture sharpening. There's also enhanced rain. Uh, so we basically enhanced, uh, we upscaled the textures uh, for the rain effect in CryEngine uh, to 4K. So now it looks really, really good. And the last new feature is a sandbox style selection. So you will basically be able to select uh, from different styles that we provided. Um, the UI is built in Qt. So all of the style files are in QSS and you will be able to uh, edit them and create your own uh, custom uh, style file if you want. So this is the example of the enhanced train. I will then show you uh, this feature in the engine as well. And here we have uh, the features for, for the next release. So something that you can look up, look forward to. Uh, so in 1.1 version will be DXR ray tracing. So hardware accelerated ray tracing, which will support um, not only reflections, but also uh, global illumination, shadows and ambient occlusion. Another, I think, really important feature is a first-person player component. So you will basically be able to create your own first-person uh, player. And we will also shape a simple character with animations and, and textures. Uh, Next few things will be flow graph nodes for the new features that we introduced in 1.0 version. So for vibrance sharpening, texture sharpening, and full screen shader loading. Uh, now you can, uh, for most of these, you will you can use um, 
uh, CVAS to control them. So you will be able to aut automate or uh, edit the values of, of these features in flow graph already but we want to create a dedicated flow graph now so it will be uh, more uh, user-friendly to, to add those features in, in flow graph. And uh, one of the last features will be uh, fixing the water and ocean planar reflections which are not currently working. Um, now this, this list is just uh, it's not 100% uh, complete. Uh, some of the features may disappear, or some new features may uh, may come. And this is not a uh, this is not a complete uh, list of features that we will definitely ship. Uh, like this is not a promise. But this is rather something that we would like to ship in the next uh, release. But just keep that in mind that this is not uh, this is not the final version. So here I prepared some useful links. So we do have a web website for the for the engine. You can go to engine.tosafstudio.com. Uh, then we also have a Learn Center. You can find that also on the website. We have a Discord community. So if you need any help or uh, you want to get in touch with us, uh, get us your feedback. That's also really important for us. You can do so on the Discord channel. Uh, also on the website, we'll be able, of course, to download the engine. And we have a GitHub repository as well. Uh, by the way, all of the links will be uh, in the description box. And on the website, you will learn exactly uh, how to install uh, all of the files and how to build a solution. So the process is uh, more easier for you. So here we are. I promised I will. I uh, show you the new features of the engine. Uh, so first of all, uh, you can see there's a new theme. And you can go to preferences and to styles. And here you can, uh, here you have different styles that you can choose. For example, Blender, which looks like this. Uh, there's a lot of different styles, but I'm just going to use this one because I like it uh, the most. And uh, what you can see over here is the advanced uh, enhanced rain. So basically how Cranjian system, uh, rain system works is by using textures for uh, for the rain, so basically falling uh, drops uh, textures. That's enhanced as well. And the puddles are also a texture. So originally, I think it was 2.256 uh, to 2.256, but uh, we uh, upscaled the textures to 4K, and now everything looks just much more clear. You can see this beautiful puddle over here, and as I go closer, you can see all of the beautiful details in there, so that's really cool. Uh, by the way, this is an um, example of uh, the sample level, but the it's still too early and too rough. This is one of the things that we won't ship in 1.0 version, but uh, you can see the work in progress work over here. So another thing that I can show you is the two new features, which is uh, sharp texture sharpening and vibrance. So, if we set it to 1, you get 
pretty nice uh, looking image and I actually prefer uh, setting the vibrance to one because it looks it just looks much more natural uh, can maybe take a look at the sea over here which uh, isn't it's too much visible uh, maybe because of the fact uh, but you can see the the colors are just really nice and um, maybe I can show you more and the colors are just really nice uh, when I'm using um, the vibrance set to set to one, uh, you can of course uh, let's just stay here by this building. Uh, you can also crank it up to two, which will create a uh, which will intensify the colors uh, even more. And this is uh, good, for example, when you're creating uh, some sort of stylized uh, stylized game. Or if you want black and white, you can uh, move this to minus one and you have a black and white uh, image. So you can, of course, uh, use the console you can type in on the slash vibrance and you can use uh, this as well. Uh, the values are float so you can just go 0 0.2 you can see it over here. I just set it to 1 for now. Uh, texture sharpening uh, that depends on the sharpening so you will have to set the sharpening I usually set it to one and then I adjust the texture sharpening but the sharpening needs to be more than zero in order to in order for the texture sharpening to work also another thing uh, is that the texture sharpening um, is uh, dependent on the sharpening so if you increase the sharpening it will also increase the texture sharpening so just something that you should keep in mind and as I turn that to one you can already see uh, we have much more details and I actually like this very much this is something that I always turn on in a NVIDIA control panel and uh, later on we will implement uh, DLSS and FSR and for this uh, sharpening and texture sharpening is absolutely vital for the image to, to look good so you can go crazy like 5 you can see this is like really sharp but uh, overall I think it looks really good so this is one of the features and I can also maybe show you yep so this is the Camix view can see the enhanced uh, edges and some pasteurization so uh, this is how it looks with the shader uh, also if you do want to use the the Camix shader I highly recommend playing with Svelgy so Uh, 
Okay, yeah, I'm This still doesn't look the best, but it looks it looks better. Uh, so basically, what I want to say is um, increase the uh, the smoky intensity when you're using this uh, uh, this cartoon. Uh, sorry, uh, this Camex shader uh, for it to look good, and I I think it looks pretty good. Even though the fog kind of uh, ruins it a little bit, but it looks okay. So this is the Camix shader. And it goes like that. No, five, five. Hopefully I didn't break anything. And you can just uh, disable it over here. And you have the same scene. And I think we good. Uh, I think I showed you uh, all of the new features. By the way, this is... Uh, um, as you can see over here, it's DirectX uh, 12 which uh, should be the default uh, for every game that uh, or every project that you create. Uh, it's working now, it's not crashing, and everything is uh, working really good. So, Thank you for watching this video. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, uh, showcase of Cranjin Community Edition. Uh, and thank you for downloading the engine if you do. And uh, yeah, uh, see you in the next video. We need your help. We are a small studio uh, with no funding and it's really hard for us to sustain the development. We all work in free time on this, but on the other hand, it's uh, something that we love to do. We really love cranging and, and making games and your support means the world to us. So if you can, uh, please support us on Patreon. You can donate as little as five euros. And if you cannot support us uh, on Patreon, you can support us by sharing this video or sharing the website for, for the engine. So thank you very much for any support.